Hello everyone, and welcome back to Hollow Knight. This is episode 30, where it is another day, another attempt at the Pantheon of Hallowness. Last time, we tried and failed, and then we, like, messed around and we practiced with no eyes a bit, and this is going to be our second attempt today. Uh, I have a uh, interesting thing to try. Uh, it has been recommended to apparently try and equip at charms when you're full on charm notches uh, so, or like well you're not full on charm notches but you like equip one that costs more it does like that little purpley thing so apparently it does something oh interesting over charmed what does that mean it just means that I can get away with having more? Huh. But you need, you need to have like a slot free for it to work. Okay. Okay, game. I'm picking up what you're putting down. So if we... Okay. So I wonder if I can do this to get the charm arrangement that I actually want though. Um, like if I also were to equip maybe Grub Song. Oh, I, oh, and then it, okay. It only resists the one time and now I'm over charmed. Hmm, okay. That's interesting. Gotcha. Um, that is a thing that exists. Now we made it up to, yeah, I'm not sure how far this thing goes. I'm assuming it's every boss in the game and we made it up to no eyes. And I don't know if that was good or bad. I don't know where we're really at in that sort of um, arrangement of, of bosses, if you will. But we're going to try again and we're going to see where we end up. And we did practice, we did practice no eyes for a little bit. Uh, in the Hall of Gods. So with with patience, with patience, we should be able to get that, I think. Um, now, I'm putting myself in a situation where I've got no carefree melody to protect me this time, because it's pretty clear that we've obviously relied on carefree, well, not even relied on it, but just really allowed it to save our skins, you know? We have relied on it to save our skins. That's for sure. There's one that we've focused on, at least. On then. Okay. You're taking a bit longer than the other one. Okay. The reinforcements do not come this day. Get your butt over here. Surely. Oh my god. I just must have hit your friend and your friend only for all of the hits in this fight so far. Maybe the Vengefly, maybe this one just gains more health when its friend dies. There we go. <laughs> god damn. Longest Vengefly fight ever. Oh, Jesus. Oops, Oops that's embarrassing. I 
that's a nice little fight for me to try and practice doing that. Because I acknowledge this is the, like spells and nail arts are the thing that really haven't had a chance to to really have like shine in my repertoire. I'm a, I'm a I'm a big nail guy, big nail fighter. You know, I'm not, and I'm, I'm getting better with the with the charms in some uh, sorry with the spells in some capacity. But you know, I'm I'm trying my best shot. But I I am a big sort of whack him with my nail and save my soul for healing because I make a lot of silly mistakes, you know? God, honestly, this thing, I always just like to brute force this thing. Just smack it and it'll hit me and whatever. I tried two spells in that one. There you go, okay. Hornet. Hey I've spoken to you already. Uh, what was this again? Oh yes. Mighty Gorb. Problem, problem. We're in a we're in a gold problem. We've got a gold problem. God. And you see, this is the predicament that I leave myself in, right? When I actively am like, let's try and use spells. Now look at where I am with health, right? This is my this is my issue. This is why I'm I'm personally a, a, a guy that likes to make sure I've got soul in reserve for healing because I'm not that good and I don't even tr I don't you know. I don't claim to be. Fuck. I don't claim to be. And there we go, guys. There we go. We find ourselves failing the Pantheon of Hallownest in not even 10 minutes. That sucks. That second attempt sucked. And that fills me with enough energy to, to try again and to give it a to give it another go, you know? Getting to no eyes last time made me not want to play. <laughs> Because it was like such a significant amount of headway to make for just like uh, the first attempt that I was like, oh, that was just like, I just don't want to do it anymore. We can defeat one of them pretty quickly. Maybe I'll just try and, you know, use spells when possible, which is what I, you know, kind of endeavor to do anyway, without, you know, just throwing them to try and appease people that desperately want me to use spells. Because I think that's the pressure that I'm feeling, you know. Sometimes people are just like, this guy never uses spells. So I want to try. But then it breaks my it breaks my rhythm because it breaks my established sort of routine here and what I what I do and how I play. I've I've set up a I've set up a way that I play and it works for me. And yes, it's not optimal. It's not the best. But it's honest work. I 
like my quick slashes. I like fighting with my nail, you know? But look at me, see? Look at that. Look at, uh, look at that. Brilliant expert uh, nail usage uh, mixed with some spells in there. Woo, Nelly. There you go. <laughs> I even tried to throw in some nail arts in there with this guy, so there you go, huh? How about that? So you can't say I never used them, I only rarely use them. How about that? <laughs> Look, this is where I can use the nail arts. <laughs> I held it down. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not very good with the, uh, I'm not very good with the nail arts, I'm not very good for the spells. I recognize my flaws and I recognize my shortcomings in combat. I'm not a goddamn master. I'm not a nail master. But I'll try my best. Oh god. I mean, look, I've made it this far, so, like, it's not that, I'm not that bad. <laughs> I'm not that bad. I think different people have different strengths in uh, in these games, that's for sure. Some people are just born spellcasters. Some are nail art legends. And I am a nail spammer. I'm a nail spammer. With some spells thrown in. And suffering the damage. Oh shit! Ah, oh, that was lucky. I was still able to heal. I hit her during her animation. Oh! Didn't even know that was possible. try again focusing on what I know best okay I think what I know best is how you're gonna win you know not by doing other people's strategies not by trying to please other people in their play styles you know? oh and certainly not by falling off the edge in the gap I was so locked in for my first attempt that it's kind of funny where we are now you know by comparison. Get your butt over here. died to Dung Defender just in this episode, guys. How? How? See, I was thrown off my groove. I just need to be in my own groove. Play the way that you want to play. I, I pressured myself into... Uh, <laughs> I pressured myself into trying to use nail arts and spells for no reason. I was like, I want to do this. I felt an invisible pressure to do it, you know? I find that funny.
He really got was about to get his own thing with his shield and everything. I, I still can't believe that. So he never stood a chance. Yes, God, I died. Yeah, fuck. Mm. Yeah. Died. Unfortunate. Another day, another Hellenist attempt. Let us begin again. After having a couple of attempts and dying, uh, while being overcharmed and not realizing that overcharmed deals double damage to you and not doing so bad with that information in mind. <laughs> We're going to not do uh, the Pantheon of Hallow Nest while being uh, overcharmed, um, because I would like to maintain some degree of health in this fight, I think. <laughs> uh, what a funny thing. I was like, hey guys, I'm overcharmed. And I was getting hit twice. And I actually, I knew I was getting hit twice, but I think the funny part is I think my brain just went, yeah guys, it's the Pallow Nest of, uh, the Pallow Nest of Hantheon. And I, um, you get hit twice, don't you? That's normal. Like I, that's that's what I that's what I genuinely thought. Uh, so I, I find that to be quite hilarious. So here we are. Oh god, god, I'm getting a bit. That revenge fly just taking forever to disappear off my screen. I'm like, come on, you're in the way. I'm trying to see all the all your little minions. If you don't mind. The one venge fly that takes too long to kill. This is the fun part of uh, this pantheon, which is defeating uh, the bosses or fighting against the bosses that you know are fine, just to get to the ones that are much harder to get to. We're going to not die at the thorny no eyes fight today. I'm I'm dedicated. I'm dedicated. I did the wrong spell. How dare I? I was meant to do shrieking abyss, and I went. I know it would be cool. Wrong spell. Ah, you inter. Oh, oh god. Spells. Look at me and my expert spell usage. Just so good at that. Oh! No, that was a that was a mistake. Mistakes were made. Oh, ah, the t that was that timing couldn't have been worse. That timing could not have been worse. Look at all that wasted soul we're doing there. And you were just one hit away. Ha <laughs> What a waste of time. And another expertly done Drew's mother match. Couldn't have done it any better myself. I... Yeah. <laughs> Ready 
today. We are ready today. We are ready today. Oh, a couple of free hits there. Oh, you can hit the back of its tail. Nice. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Oh, yeah, when you hit it, it goes backwards. Look at me forgetting Moss Charger. Moss Charger of all bosses, I think, is, is, is quite a funny one. Honestly, I, uh, I suck at whatever Moss Charger has going on. <laughs> oh, I, I just, like, stop it. Not a good one, because we'll make up with it with Hornet and bullying her into the corner. Oh, or walking right into her. Oh, oh. Can't wait to do that move myself in Silk Song. <laughs> that was not that was not supposed to happen. That was embarrassing. That's funny. That's just funny. I was supposed to do Descending Dark and uh, failed, and I I hurt my foot on her spiky head. Oh yes, it's the Gorbening. It is the Gorbening time. No! Do you know how precious soul is, Gorb? You mind? If I'm gonna actually try and put effort into my spells, the least you could do is be there to get hit by them. I guess the dangerous part is being too close to him when he gets spiky with it. Gorb. Just gorbing it up again, are you? Oh, Gorb. Get Gorbed. Oh, we are running Shaman Stone, by the way. I should reference that. I did change up my arrangement. So my my uh, my spells are stronger. Oh, no! Um, yes. We're not overcharmed. So that's what we're doing. Doma, doma. Oh. And guess what, guys? You can actually get this motherfucker <laughs> out of the floor with this move. How cool is that? Isn't that awesome? How good is that for an efficient defeat? Was a mistake. I did that too early. What am I doing? <laughs> no! How dare I? I? These are rookie mistakes to make. I just used Shrieking Abyss on a on a fucking glob that dies in one hit. That was stupid. Terrible. Ah, uh, yes, guys, it's Tiso. You know my favorite part of this? My favorite part of this fake out is you're not allowed to heal or move or do anything when a, when your boss is screaming at you. But with Tiso, you, I was just able to heal and move around there. I guess further just... Oh, God, I'm inside of him. Uh, just further driving that point home, I suppose. That, uh, <laughs> he'd just be a joke. He'd just be a joke. Sorry, Tiso. Is there a mod in the game that actually makes Tiso a fight? 
I guess you'd have to come up with animations and move sets and stuff though, so that probably wouldn't be very easy to do. I keep, uh, we're back to 80 year old man reaction time. I keep going to press the dodge button as I'm getting hit. Dash button, I should say. Dear brothers. Oh. Okay. Oh. No. Oh, that was Cyclone Slash. I thought that was going to be Dash. <sighs> I'm being silly. I'm being silly. I'm being silly. Oh, dude, what am I doing? Wow, have I really... I really got no hits on him in that whole fight. Oh, I'm losing... I think I'm losing my cool here. I think this is a rest point. Yeah, cool. Alright guys, we'll acknowledge that, that was very messy. That was that was not efficient in any way, shape, or form. But yeah, we're running um, Shaman Stone, and um, while we can definitely acknowledge the fact that Carefree Melody is a is a goddamn um, save and a half. That thing that thing just prevents damage like no tomorrow. I I. You know, I feel like it'll be a good idea for us to utilize our own abilities and our own skill set and seeing how we can do, you know? Oh, bullshit. Oh, okay. And by our own skill set and our own abilities, I mean obviously just entirely having a, having a shit time. This is not good. This is, yeah, this is not good. I'm gonna die on this stupid fucker. What did I? Oh, I just killed, I killed myself because I could not live with the embarrassment of dying to him. I meant to do Vengeful Spirit, but I had my finger on the wrong part of my controller, I suppose, and decided to uh, descending dark myself into hell. Nice. <laughs> better. That was a better attempt, wasn't it? Look, isn't it a wonder what you can do if you use more than your goddamn uh, nail sometimes? Ooh. See ya. My favorite. God, it's not even the tyrant. Can't wait.
it's crazy when you get used to Soul Tyrant, like how slow Soul Master is. It's kind of funny. it in now. I choked. I choked in that one, and that was painful because I know that you can do that. It's like, it's such a rewarding fight, but it's also very easily telegraphed. But at the same time, it really depends where they end up in their sequence of moves. Sometimes it can be really cool, but then other times it's like that. Oh. 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 <laughs> I think what's cool is I think what this is going to end up being is this is going to be a sequence of, I'm gonna, when I feel like playing, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna try it. And then we're just going to cut into that like boss fight that I get up to and we can continue from there in the next attempts because then we'll be able to actually not have an episode that's like 20 hours long. Uh, and it will cut out the stuff that we've obviously gotten better at because we're here to win. Um, so you're gonna see a lot of attempts here probably but hopefully we'll we'll cut it together when i whenever i work up the resilience to uh to get through the pantheon of hallow nest we'll certainly keep trying all right we're not in a very good position for this fight we do not have much health at all so there is not much room for mistakes Mistake. Not enough room for mistakes, dude.
That is a really unfortunate place for them to spawn. Okay, starting that battle off with not many masks made that. Ooh, that made that very, very tense. <clears throat> but I knew that I could do it because we've done it before. Because we've done it before. Okay, come on. Very erratic. Come on. Uh, what a what a waste of masks. Waste, 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 waste. I need those for no eyes. Okay, I need to be. I'm thinking about how we can take advantage of this to get some. Um, some soul. Yeah. Take advantage of this fight. There we go. Get a little bit more soul and replenish our masks for our silly behavior. Nice lost kin. Bowed to you before. There we go, and now I'll wreck you. Okay, how do we do Paint Master Shield again? Oh, he stresses me out. He stresses me out. Okay. Okay, you stress me out, buddy. Very great. Not very great. I need to have like you need to have like this crazy goddamn Oh yeah, the nail master is before this, so I could be a bit more spammy with my soul spells. Cool. This Pantheon is just like have a 100 percent read on every enemy at all times, otherwise you're gonna have a awkward time. Alright, let's try again. Hive Knight.
<laughs> that's one way to stop that fight, isn't it? Okay, can I just, um, not do that? I think the funniest part about normal Grim now is um, when you've memorized Nightmare King Grim's moves um, instead. So it's just kind of funny when you have to mem remember the the more not even the more the, not the more difficult one. What am I saying? Um, <laughs> not the more difficult pattern, but um, the just the different one. I need to remember what that is. Oh, I didn't hold down um, jump enough. Fuck that up. To be grim. Grim has been grimmed. Okay, what's next? Does it go straight into no eyes? Or is there something else? Alright, oh, we get our our god scene. Sleeping god. We can barely feel their presence amongst the green left behind. Uh, so this is uh, is Un, apparently, which is really, really cool. And I guess that you can tell and make more sense of that when you actually look at the environment and like these stone things that you see around like Green Path and all of that kind of stuff as well. That's really, really cool. Okay, so we get this brief moment. Oh, right, yeah, of course. what happens when I mess with my mojo of like what I normally do for the fight <laughs> I'm like oh do some spells and then I just end up like wasting my soul on the spells while also needing that um, for healing
there's no... Okay. That's just unfortunate, isn't it? that for one extra piece of soul. Nice. <laughs> oh, this is Hornet Nosk. Right. So cool. Vengefly Nosk. You know how much I freaked the hell out about this? Like, I was... I thought that it was... I thought it was over. I thought that this was... I thought I was going to lose here for sure. It is very interesting that they turned it into a bench fly. I'm not like a hugely against it. It's kind of fun. It's fun. Damn, I went too early on that one. I think this is just, this is definitely like a patience game. Just be patient. I'm happy to get just one hit off in order to survive because I want to have more soul for uh, for no eyes. like right in between two of them. That's crazy. Jesus. We do be dodging. hits has got to be the one. There it is, like the final hit. The final hit was the one. Oh yeah, shit. force that. Master.
How good is her music though? Why would I do that? That was so bad. I didn't realize you could attack from behind like that. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. Okay. That's a refill all your soul fight right there. Even though it's the first one after you refill all your soul. So just in case you forgot to refill your soul. Here we are. Okay, it's time. It's time. You know, the, the super fun part is not knowing what comes after this fight. Imagine, imagine dying to no eyes. It's right. I died to no eyes in my first attempt because I didn't know the arena was going to be thorns. And then we practiced it. <sighs> okay. Oh, okay, cool. I'm confident with you. This is fine. This is good. This is good. That's fine. White defender now. Okay. Oh, that doesn't work on him. Okay. Slam does not work on him. Understood. 
Because you've got your own dive, buddy. Oh no. What am I doing? Oh, what am I doing? Nice, 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 nice. These are like situations where if you know that there's a hot spring coming out after it, you can be a bit more wasteful with like your soul and cast a bit more spells instead of, yeah, you know. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. The white lady. Wow. Imagine falling down there and dying. Oh, tragedy! This majestic god evades our attunement with such ease. We live only to serve the gods, to seek them out. Why does she frustrate us? How does she hide from us? Does she diminish herself by choice? Interesting. Some gods do not wish to be found. Tyrant. Okay. Confused me for a second there. I don't know why. Um, bad. That's not what we want at all. Oh, I went. I dodged the wrong way. That's a shame. There's no floor. Bail. 
all mine. Okay, where are you? <laughs> Just a bit fucking scary. Yeah, I'm dead. Just a bit scary. I didn't play that very smart, though, to be fair with you. I kind of was like, uh, just kind of, oh man. All right, so mark off with no floor. All right, cool. Mark off with no floor. good is that fight i love that sisters battle was so cool how do we make the mantis lords a cooler fight fight all three of them at once oh that's it's definitely an exhilarating one to to throw in there and there's some really satisfying ones of just subtle movement to the side and you're able to get like hits off of like all of them in sequence and it's so goddamn satisfying <laughs> Imagine losing to Thorny No Eyes again. Imagine losing to Thorny No Eyes again. That would be awesome. That would just make me want to do it all over again, wouldn't it? Or we failed at Thorny No Eyes once again, and we shouldn't have. That's it for now. That's all the attempts that I have in me for now. It's done. That's the episode. The not completed Pantheon of Hallow Nest, but I wanted to at least put an episode out to show you that I am suffering. And congratulations, I haven't done it, you know. Goddamn, I'm still working on it. <laughs>